Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Burning Kiss, and I'm back with a, another tutorial. It's basically an update tutorial of my how to install ROMs like 7Z, Rare, and other files like, other than zip onto NDS for iOS. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link down in the description below. It is an older video. This is basically the updated um, video, so the camera is not shaky because it's my screen recorder, and I will address a couple of the issues that I saw um, people having in the comments section. But before we get started with that, uh, you will need um, NDS for iOS. So what you want to do is uh, go to iEmulators and go to Apps. Uh, you want to click Install, click Install right there, and uh, then after it ends, and then you just hit, you just confirm that you want to install it. Then after, of course, because of iOS 9, you need to accept the developer and you'll have it from here. It is right now as I'm making this video and I will make sure to update in the description when it is signed or when it's just revoked so you don't, so you know when it's going to be not able for use. And just quick shout out to my buds at BuildStore. BuildStore has been amazing. I this I just signed up for my second year of their service and their service is great. They have great customer service. They they have all these apps. They have all kinds of emulators from GBA for iOS birth versions. <laughs> yeah, birth versions. Both versions of 2.1 and 2.0 and then there's like arcade emulators, P, a PSP, Providence. Um they have the new gamepad which if you there is a little trouble if you do get the service there's a little trouble you need to go through to get new gamepad to work so i'll leave a link down in the description below to operation idroids video where he explains how to get that working from the updated inds and uh, nds for ios um and like a couple games that have been revoked like marvel vs capcom 2 flappy bird and a multi nes game pack and then there's utilities like movie box play box music box i know city and so much more and get this it's only ten dollars a year honestly that's a steal and i i feel like i i honestly think they should charge more i'm not saying that because the the service they're giving you is so great the amount of products they're giving you is uh such a hot high, high 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 enough number that i would think that they should charge more because they deserve it honestly uh, and like I said, it's ten dollars a year. So if you want to have a permanent solution um, to your emulators, I mean they have bugs here and there, but they do get it fixed right the the moment it gets um, reported, they go to work and fix it. And they might be down for an hour, but that's it. Um, so honestly, I think this is a great alternative if you don't like jailbreaking, due to there's no jailbreak for iOS nine point. 3.1 or 2 so I suggest you get this I, I use it all the time so that was my shout out to you guys build store I hope you I hope that uh, helped you out and they are going to be helping me spread the word to you guys so if you're watching this and you saw my video on um, their Twitter page uh, welcome to the tutorial and um, I would like to just say thank you guys for tweeting this out for me uh, and for the last video because um, we really did help a lot of people and we're going to help a lot more with this. So now into the tutorial, you, first you want to do is of course we got NES for iOS. Now you want to get this app. I'll leave a link down in the description below to this app right here. Um, it's basically a uh, zip rare. It can unzip on rare. It can zip up compressed files, so it's really handy if you if you uh, don't have anything uh, like a computer, and you could just do it through here. Now, after you download it, you don't need to open it yet. So first, what we're gonna do, and this is where I'm gonna address issue number one. Issue number one that people had issues with some ROMs, not necessarily Pokemon Diamond. That if you go to like Emu Paradise or on any other um, website that gives away NDS ROMs, which honestly I do not condone. You need to, for it to be legal, you need to own the games yourself. So 
do not download any games, guys. I do not condone if you do that, so that is not on me. I warned you, so we're good. But anyways, it's not specifically with Diamond, but if you go to a certain like ROM website and you download it, you do the process of my video, but it doesn't load in. Now this is a known problem, even with INDS. It it just it just sometimes happens. It's more common with ROM hacks, but with certain ROMs uh, in certain webs on certain websites, uh, theirs just does not work. So what I suggest, if you like go and get Pokemon Diamond on, like this is just an example. If you get Pokemon Diamond on MU Paradise, you go through my process in my video, and then you come you, and then you can't see it in your app all you need to do is find like a, a website such as love roms now i love love roms <laughs> i love love roms yay um dot com because it it it's not it doesn't have rom hacks necessarily but it has all these these supported devices that you can uh get roms for but it does have the main games, and what I like about it is uh, it's quick and it's simple, um, and you, it's reliable. But with Emu Paradise, of course, you're taking a risk because there's different versions because of people uploading it differently. It's not ROM hacks necessarily, it's just like somebody's take on the download, I guess. Um, so that's what I want you to do. Just if it one if one kind of the ROM doesn't work, go to another website, and if that one Tr keep on trying and if that doesn't work please leave it in the comments section down below um and me and i will try to help my best i tried to help everybody out in my last video i'm still trying to help um you guys now so what you want to do is of course hit download pokemon okay so you it says you're preparing now this is where i want to say tap only tap the download once because if uh, you clap it, uh, tap it twice, it could turn out to be um, a download of zero bytes, which, of course, it didn't complete the download, and that could be an issue. So what you want to do is press download, and depending on the ROM size, this is only 15 megabytes, so yeah. Um, and it's opening in uh, INES because it could read dot .7z, but it depends on the ROM size, how long you have to wait now you want to copy to zip and the zip tool the app that we use and click unzip file and then you want to click on here and set we don't need any we we don't need uh all this right here i mean the icons they do show up in NDS for iOS, but that's because NDS for iOS reads and recognizes the game. So what you want to do is g click on this button right here and compress to zip. Okay. Now it may take some time. Also, it may take some time depending on the ROM size. And as you can see, it zipped up. Now what you want to do is tap on the the new zip file arrow button and hit open in. Now, you might want to, depending on how many apps are able to read a certain file, like a zip file, you might need to scroll um, left and right uh, to, um, to see where NDS for iOS, if you newly got it, could be in the back. If, it, if you use it the most, they move, it automatically moves it up front. So you want to copy into NDS for iOS. And boom, there we go. Now, uh, before we test it, that just another tip. If you want to see and you want to actually see a download file downloading, um, I suggest you get uh, Chrome or Firefox that are on the screen right here. Uh, Chrome, if you download a file, it will actually show you the progress being made on the downloads along with Firefox as well. So if you want you want to know exactly how long it's going to take and how big um it a file uh, rom file is then i suggest you you get one of these or a secondary download browser that i don't have right here so now 
like I said, we opened it into NDS for iOS, and here's the proof. Now, as always, um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any problems with the tutorial that I have done, and if I didn't address any of the issues that you personally had, um, leave it in the comments section below, and I will uh, get to you, I promise, like I always do with my comments. And if you want to see uh, more gaming, PC, and mobile, or more tutorials like this and Pokemon TCG openings, then hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit a like. I love when you guys watch or subscribe to my videos because that means you're having as much fun as me. And like I said, try and hit up Build Store. Uh, it's only $10 a year. Um, and it's a great catch, and they're really good customer service. Or just if not, then you have to wait for a jailbreak for the newest iOS, or just try and if it, if I, NDS for iOS gets revoked, just you just have to wait. Other than that, ten dollars a year is pretty good deal. And as always, I like I, I like to say thank you for forty five subscribers and almost nine thousand views on the last tutorial. And as always, I'll play with you guys, game with you guys. And talk to you guys later.